What matters is how money gets allocated in the federal budget. And you can say, oh, I hate science, or science is this or that, but if the money goes to the proper, to the agencies, then the career scientists who work for those agencies will do their job. And by the way, leaders come and go. Heads of agencies, especially if they're presidential appointees, come and go. The scientists are there for their careers. And so in the end, uh, the scientists will do what scientists must do. And I have full confidence that we will not lose the mission statement of these very important scientific institutions. By the way, just a, a quick bit of history. Abraham Lincoln in 1863, when he clearly had other things he needed to be worrying about, signed into existence the National Academy of Science, having seen in Europe the role of science in shaping their future of their economy, of their culture, of their civilization. And so this was set up as an independent agency with scientists choosing other scientists in their community to participate, to advise, independently advise, the executive branch and the, um, and the you know, the House and the Senate on, on policies that relate to the country. And so I, I have the confidence that that kind of mission statement uh, will prevail. Somebody like RFK... As it has in the past. Right. Someone like RFK, he's got, obviously, some outlandish ideas. He has some very good ideas. I mean, you're looking at America in totality. It's one of the fattest countries and unhealthiest countries uh, in the developed world, <laughs> right? I mean, it, it just is. And, and, by the way, we're in no position to lecture you over here either in the UK. So I'm not, I'm not by any means taking the high moral ground, but it's a reality that America is a pretty unhealthy...